Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs and today I'm going to be working on a chicken egg sign. I'm half asleep and looking fabulous. All in the Everlast, looking bloody bogan. Now oh, let's get on with it. Alright, so I have this old kitchen cupboard door here. I have stripped all the paint off it. It's still a little bit around the sides, but it doesn't matter. Um, I've stripped all the old paint off it and only given it a quick sand because I want this to be kind of rough and rustic. Um, I was just going to paint the whole thing white and just keep it really, really simple and quick. I'm still going to try and keep it quick, but I'm going to use... Purico Meadow um, rather than just painting it white. So, this is the colour we're using. I'll hold this next to it to see if you can see the difference a bit better. But that's Purico Meadow, beautiful colour. That beautiful texture that we've got there. Look at it. Alright, so now I've done that, I'll work out what stain I'm going to put on that. Alright, so I'm using Cartamilli in How Now, and I've decided I'm going to use it over the whole piece. So let's see how this goes.
Alright, so that's that stain. Because it's so dark, I might actually go and water this down a bit before I go over the painted section. that on and now I'm just going to wipe it back on the painted section just so there's no brush strokes on the painted part and also so it's mostly in the grooves so it'll kind of it kind of works like a glaze it's making it not quite so pristine and perfect because we're going for that old weathered look all right all right so this is a new design um i'm going to go in with this one first so fresh eggs woo so i'm going to go in with this one first and that's going to sit about there. I'm basically just going to use the bottom of the stencil. I'm going to make my life easier and use the bottom of the stencil and line it up with the bottom of this section here and just eyeball the sides. Before I go in with my paint, I'm going in with Cartamilli Satin Top Coat. I've got the tape on there to help me open it because my hands are arthritic and getting old. Alright, so now that that's dry, I'm going in with Cartamilli Daisy's Milk. And I've got a small sponge. So I'm putting some paint on my sponge and then kind of blotting it off on the inside of my cup. Moment of truth. Oh no, I've got paint on it. So that's fresh eggs. So the next thing I'm going to do is this chicken wire. So I've got this chicken wire stencil from Gemini Creative. Same as this one, both from Gemini Creative. And I'm going to do the chicken wire around the sides. So I'm just going to do it around these parts. Go this way. Alright, so I've decided to do a bit of a raised stencil on this one. Um, and I don't want the chicken wire to be completely solid, completely whole all the way around. So what I'm doing is I've placed my stencil down and then I'm going around and I'm taping off the sections where I don't want to get the, have the stencil down. So it's going to be like broken chicken wire.
you don't have to do this you could do the whole thing just do whatever you want have fun with it so what I'm using for my ray stenciling is Katsumili Sandy Crush and I'm mixing it in with my paint so I'm using Katsumili Daisy Milk same as what I used on the egg stencil I'm pouring some into my cup it's still so bloody cold here my hands don't want to work properly I'm not going to say how much of this to add because I'm just kind of guesstimating. But I'll mix that in and see what we come up with. You can also get bigger packets of this stuff. Um, and you can use it for ray stenciling, um, to add texture. So kind of like a sea spray effect or just like smear it on with a palette knife to help get that kind of chippy effect. Alright. So this is the consistency I've got. It's not falling off. It's thick, but it'll still be easy to work with. All right, so I don't want this ray stencil to be, to be too thick. So I'm kind of just gonna go with the thickness of the stencil itself, um, maybe a little bit thicker. I'm liking that ray stencil so much I'm going to put this one back on and do the ray stenciling on the fresh eggs part as well. That one's a bit thick and will have to be sanded down a bit, but other than that, it looks good. So I'm going to go wash these stencils and then I'll be back. Alright, so I've got my chicken wire down and I went out and we had lunch and I got all gussied up. And this has dried in the meantime and I've lightly sanded the rough bits down with two 40 grit sandpaper. Just be very careful when you do it, especially on these parts, because you don't want to break bits off. I mean, it'll go in with that rustic look. I've lost a couple of pieces, but you know, you do whatever. Um, 
So now I'm going to seal this whole piece with Carts and Millie's satin top coat. That's completely dry and I'm going to use some of the Katsumeli, Katsumeli black wax. Mostly going to focus this around the edges and around the stenciling. See how it goes if I Yeah. Alright, so yeah. I'm kinda not going to rub it in quite as much as I usually do on pieces. I'm just kinda I'm almost like dry brushing it. Um, when it comes to making something look old, don't be afraid to layer things, don't be afraid to experiment, don't be afraid to build things up and create texture. Just remember, wax is always last. On these parts I am going to push it in there more. Kind of build it up around the edges of this centerpiece just to try and darken it a bit more around the edges of that timber. So it kind of creates a, I um, can't think what it's called, darker around the outside, brighter on the inside. What's it called? You can do it on photos. Alright, now that I've put the black wax on, I'm going to get my hemp self and a rag. Just putting some hemp self on the rag and going over everywhere I just put the black wax.
that's that. And there we have it. So we've got the raised stenciling of the chicken wire. So I'm actually really loving this because not only is it textural and it's actually proper raised, but the black wax around the edges of it really makes it pop. Um, it almost like makes it look animated, like a sketch. Um, and then I love how this turned out, how it's not perfect, it's got little grooves and like I didn't want it perfect at all and it's come out perfect. <laughs> um, all the aged finish, you can see all the grain here and all the wax has gotten into it. Yeah, I know it's just a sign but I love how it turned out. What do you guys think? This is me all gussied up. Um, if you like this video, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe. I will be doing more pieces like this. I'm not massively into the farmhouse style, but other people like it. I'm loving this that I just did, so I'll probably do more things like this. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.